how to create high valuable branded content for your company. This is the Dukas Copy TV studio in Geneva. I'm Daniel Schwenger and I'm joined by Tony Johnston. He's media communications specialist from Tony Johnston Media, his consulting company. Welcome Tony to the studio. Daniel, it's great to be here. I, I admire your studios a lot. I've worked in quite a few studios over the years and I always enjoy coming here because it is so high tech. It's a real pleasure to have you. So you have about 29 years of experience in broadcasting. Can you share with us some of your most memorable moments? Yeah, it's a long time, isn't it? I started in media, I started in television when I was 16 years of age. I was at school and I was doing a music video show on Saturday mornings for teenagers. So I was going to school during the week and hosting this music video show on Saturday mornings. And I was bitten by the media bug. I loved the media. What did I love? It was very creative. I loved the fact that we could tell stories through the media. So I started in music television, then I went to children's television, I went to uh, quiz television, to lifestyle television, and then into news. And more recently, I've been working in Geneva presenting radio for World Radio Switzerland in English for the international community here. So 28, 29 years and still got a lot to learn as well. What do you remember particularly over the years, I have a lot of memories and for a period of time I was traveling the world with a travel documentary program. And one story in particular in Vanuatu, so if you can just imagine the luscious South Pacific islands, palm trees, coconuts, coral reefs, and we were there on the island of, of Tanna in Vanuatu and we were exploring an active volcano. And when we went to this particular volcano with a couple of local guides, they said to us, when it explodes, it is active. When it explodes, what you do, instead of running because you could get hit on the head by a rock, I'm, I'm serious, it was, this was really going off. You need to stand still when it explodes, look up as to where the rocks are falling and just step aside to dodge the rocks. <laughs> and so we're thinking, okay, are we, are we safe here? And we're trying to do our work and trying to film. It was an amazing, incredible environment to be in. The first time that it popped, the first time it exploded when we were there, who ran away? The guides. <laughs> they told us to stand still and they were running. So we thought, okay, if they're getting out of here, we should not stay for very long either. That was a very memorable moment and an opportunity from working in uh, media that I very appreciate to have had over the years. But is, it was as interactive as it can be sometimes in broadcasting. Now companies are also discovering the field of broadcasting, company TV for themselves. So what is the value for a company when uh, starting their own media network or even newsrooms? Exactly. Previously, companies were reliant on media networks to be able to express their messages. As technology has evolved from analog technology, when I first started we used tape in television and now with digital media, companies have been able to create their own content. Now with social media platforms they can create their own content and distribute that on social media platforms. That's nothing new. There is a trend that has been occurring and taking place over the last few years for companies now to have their own social media newsrooms, their own content hubs. So what they're doing is feeding all of the updates, all of the stories into those hubs, generally connected with marketing and communications, Marcoms, they're adding this newsroom capacity and capability and they're taking control and Daniel the, the, the advantage here is that they are able to say what they want, how they want to say it and when they want to say it. Previously they were reliant on a news program or an information program to do the story, to do the interview, to play that but they always told that story the way that they wanted from their perspective. Now companies have that control and that's a very exciting opportunity for brands as brands become stories mm. and they're able to use their own media networks to tell those stories. Mm. Branded content, how to make it happen then? Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a process and this is something that not every company has an expertise in. So firstly, I, I would encourage companies to be patient with this process. It doesn't just happen overnight. Build on the strengths that you currently have with your social media teams and your marketing and communications teams. Build on those strengths and keep adding 
additional capacity. The steps to follow are to identify where the content or the story opportunities are within your organisation. They may not be as, as obvious as, as what you uh, think. Dig a little bit deeper, have a look at your experts. That person may have a history, may have a story that is a potential story in itself to tell through your own platforms and your own newsroom. So identify where those stories are within the organisation. Then you need to determine who the audience is. Is it a customer? Is it a client? Is it someone else within the organisation from an internal communications perspective? So identify where the stories are, identify who the audience is, and then you need to determine how you're going to disseminate that content, which platform you are going to use. Now it might be some of the traditional social media platforms that a lot of organisations are using very effectively. It might be something that you develop for yourself through your own social media newsroom. So very exciting opportunities for organisations and potentially more cost effective for them as well because they're not necessarily having to pay for advertising or pay for publicity. They are in turn generating their own publicity which can be worth a lot to them. Mm -hmm. And you, So you just mentioned that the connection between the marketing department, the communications department is important. So is that enough or why should a company consider to hire a business journalist or a communication specialist? For that? I would certainly recommend hiring a journalist or a communications uh, specialist and adding that person to the team. So you have Marcoms, Marketing and Communications. Now most organisations have their social media uh, employees as well. I would advise adding, as adding a journalist or a, a communications specialist because they have the experience in being able to tell those stories. They know how that story needs to be constructed. They know how to put that story together and not every organisation has that capacity or that experience within and that is going to create a greater quality of content. So bringing that person into the team, drawing on their experience, often they are coming from the media themselves so they bring that experience to the organisation. The organisation isn't starting from scratch. And this is a bit of a trend. You've got organisations to name just a few but Coca-Cola have started their own newsroom. Google, IBM, Red Bull have started. The United Nations here in Geneva have their own newsroom. This is a trend. It doesn't have to be, you know, we, we see the news programs like we see here on, on Ducoscopy TV with large newsrooms and lots of employees. It can be a small organisation. You don't necessarily need a studio. There's a lot you can do with a, a simple microphone, with a simple video camera, with iPads and, and other devices. There is a lot you can do yourself. And as I was saying earlier, build those strengths build those capacities and before you know it you'll be a, you'll be a media organization as well as the company that you are. Mm -hmm. To really connect to potential or new customers for your company and you help companies also with your consulting company Tony Johnston Media. Thanks so much Tony for being here today. Great pleasure Daniel, thank you. And thanks for watching. Do make sure to keep clicking back on Dukas Copy TV for their website for latest updates and exclusive interviews.